Supply chain, uh, chain shortages are making things difficult for holiday shoppers with many items either out of stock or on back order. Scammers are taking advantage of that by setting up fake websites. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprecher gets answers about how to avoid becoming a cyber victim. Online shopping is convenient, but it can also be costly if you get scammed. It's estimated consumers will have $20 billion stolen by criminals by the end of the holiday season through fake websites. Scammers always take advantage of anything that they can, and this is just like the, a gift from, from heaven, if you will, to have all the supply chain problems that, that we have, and they can really, uh, really hook onto those and, and get people to... Uh, to give them their money when they wouldn't normally do it. The company LexisNexis Risk Solutions says it's seen the proliferation of over 5,000 fake websites, up from just 100 or so earlier this year. It's like a virus, it just spreads. It doesn't stop until the consumers stop falling for the trick. The Secret Service says overseas criminal groups are behind most of these fake sites, which are becoming more and more sophisticated. And these fake websites have telltale red flags, misspellings, grammar mistakes, links on the page that don't work, and a refusal to accept credit cards. And these websites will often only ask for payment via a, a wire service, such as PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, the transaction is put through, those monies are gone. And it's very unlikely, almost impossible for the consumer to get their money back. To keep yourself safe, it's best never to click on a shopping site you've never heard of. If the item is out of stock everywhere else, chances are that website doesn't have it either. It's probably just a scam to lure you in. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.